After another night train ride from Chennai, we arrived in the city of Mandurai at 3 a.m. Normally, it's not hard to find a hostel anywhere in India, but it's close to the new year, and some kind of religious festival is happening in Mandurai. We walked for hours in the dark before finding a room in the dirtiest hostel we've ever seen. Nevertheless, with only one day in Madurai, we find ourselves at the entrance to the magnificent temple in the center of the city. destination in uh, Madure. And this is the reason we came here. Uh, a very different kind of temple, uh, Hindu temple, the South Indian style. We're actually in the province of Tamil Nadu. Uh, the people here don't speak Hindi anymore, they speak Tamil. And uh, they've got some different stuff from the rest of India. Reaching up to 50 meters high and sprawling for 45 acres, the Minakshi Temple Complex can be seen from anywhere in the city and is a brilliant example of a South Indian Hindu temple. The city of Madurai goes back 2500 years and the Minakshi Temple was mentioned as early as the 7th century. After being sacked by Muslim invaders in 1310, the current structures were constructed between the 13th and 17th century. Compared to North Indian landmarks, most of which don't serve any practical purpose anymore, the Minakshi Temple is actively used and maintained. All 33,000 of its carvings are regularly repainted to keep their vibrant colors. Inside of the temple complex is beautifully painted with an abundance of color and being a temple devoted to the goddess Minakshi, the consort of Shiva, statues of both are everywhere. There are lots of tourists, but most of the 15,000 daily visitors are pilgrims carrying out their worship. Despite the crowd, the cool air inside makes this a pleasant experience. A ceremonial elephant keeps a steady stream of locals occupied. You can pay for a brief ride or to have your head touched by the elephant's trunk. With so many customers, the handler doesn't even pay attention to the tourists. Except. Hello, please.
Near the exit, there are the usual strategically placed souvenir shops. Since only Hindus are allowed in the inner sanctum, here is where tourists are often found. There are 14 towers, large and small, within the complex, and with each carrying thousands of carvings, it is entirely possible to spend a whole day here. A poorly planned itinerary means that we have only a couple of hours, just barely enough time to appreciate the true size of these enormous structures, but not enough time to cover the entire temple grounds. After some hasty photos and videos, it's time to go find a bus for tonight that will take us out of Tamilandu and into the neighboring state of Kerala. As night falls and we prepare to catch the bus, we take one last look at Minakshi Temple from a distance. Even after having been there, the towers still don't look real. We will have to leave these alien looking structures now. It's going to be New Year's Eve tomorrow, and we have a long bus ride tonight.